may be a little dark, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Week nine of the NFL season is right around the corner, baby. Right around the corner. Um, Thursday night is when we get it all started. Halloween night, of course. Uh, we got the undefeated San Francisco 49ers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Kyler Murray versus Jimmy G. The Air Raid versus a you know a more you know modern. More or less, you know, like an early 2000s, you know, like late 90s, early 2000s type offense that Kyle Shanahan likes to put out with the Niners. And, of course, you know, the Niners defense is has been fantastic. So, I um, think, you know, Kyler Murray's going to have to exploit um, the weaknesses in the 49ers defense or else it's going to be a – or else it's going to be like, you know uh, – it's going to be crazy, you know. It's going to be crazy for the cards line. They won't be able to contain those 49ers defenders, um, of course. Next up, a game down in London. Of course it's a game in London. And who better to, you know, kick off another game in London than the Jags taking on the Texans? Now, I'm going to be probably asleep. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a no for me, you know. Uh, plus, I mean, it's the Jags and the Texans, you know, like, so, like both of those teams are kind of inconsistent anyway. You know, they're just kind of there. Um, Redskins taking on the Bills. The Redskins are on a downward spiral. They're falling off a cliff, and they're, they're looking like there's going to be no way to get back from it. Bills coming off a loss, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You know, the Bills... May have enough firepower to get rid of Washington real quick, you know. But you never know. You never know unless the game is played. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, Titans taking on the Carolina Panthers. Of course, you know, there's no Cam Newton. There's no Marcus Mariota. Uh, of course, you know. So uh, I mean, the Titans are just kind of there. They're kind of there this season, you know, same with the Panthers, aside from, you know, Christian McCaffrey, they're just kind of there. Um, Panthers got blown out last week. They got to they get it, they got to get it together. You know, they got to get it together real quick. Um, now, the first game that you can really keep, keep your eyes glued on, keep your eyes paying attention, you know, uh, I'd say is the Vikings taking on the Chiefs, man. It is going to be one heck of a game, let me tell you that. Um, uh, in my opinion, that's just me. Um, not sure how much longer Patrick Mahomes is going to be out, uh, but, you know, Kirk Cousins, Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen, Dalvin Cook, the whole Vikings defense, of course, you know, you got other players on the Kansas City side, you know, like um, Tyreek Hill, you know, Travis Kelsey. I mean, it, it, it's just a it's just a clusterfuck of, of star power for for this game. The Chiefs are reeling right now. They've lost three straight games, but they still have you know they still have some control over their destiny. You know, the Chargers are looking kind of inconsistent. The Broncos are just kind of there, losing games left and right, and and the Raiders are. Also, just kind of there, you know, being extremely inconsistent. Uh, but if the Chiefs want to get back in the win column, they got to start with the Vikings. And the Vikings, they win this game. Hey, it's going to be one, it's going to be a dog fight for the NFC North. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. There is a tank bowl. Let me tell you that. Tanking is in full effect. We are in tank bowl season because the Jets. Are taking on the Dolphins. Oh God! If the Dolphins win this game, I'm going to be—I don't know. If the Jets win this game, I don't really care. But if the Dolphins win this game, hey, you know, good for them. Doesn't really matter to me though. But Chicago, Philadelphia—that's going to be interesting. Very, very, very interesting. We all know what happened last year in the divisional playoffs. You know. Or was it the wild card? It was either, it was either or. I can't remember. I want to say it was the 
the wild card. I want to say it was the wild card. It might have been the division round. I don't know. But um, Pinheiro, you know, it's the same thing that happened Cody, with Cody Parkey last you know, the last time these two teams played, you know, if it comes down to it and the Bears are, you know, like in striking distance to win this game, who we, who we, we are going to have, we're gonna, somebody's going to be singing deja vu. Um, the Eagles, Eagles are also kind of there, you know, they, they're just kind of there to me. Um, they, they, they're really inconsistent, you know. It's kind of like a lot of teams, you know, towards the like the middle pack, just very inconsistent at times. But uh, the Bears really don't have an offense anyway. You know, you can't trust Mitchell Trubisky to throw the ball. So I think the Eagles' defense will have a field day with that. Um, Colts taking on the Steelers. Uh, this game is also kind of just there, you know. Um, Mostly, mostly to the Steelers, and mostly because I mean it's just kind of disinteresting to watch the Steelers now that there's no Ben Roethlisberger, and now there's only Juju Smith-Schuster on the team. Um, as far as star power goes, you know, the Delvin Hodges and Mason Rudolph there, they're just they're they're an interesting tandem. Let me tell you that, both quarterbacks. But um, you know, I think Jacoby Brissett and the Colts will handle that pretty easily. Then we get to the 4 o'clock slates, you know, those games that start up late. It's the Lions and the Raiders. I mean, I just don't care about the Raiders and the Washington. Neither do I care about the Lions. It's just kind of there. Both these teams, especially the Raiders, you know, they're just kind of there. Don't really care about them at all. Then you got the Bucks taking on the Seahawks. Oh, boy. It could be a field day for Seattle on defense. If Jameis Winston throws interceptions and fumbles, it's going to be a field day for him. Let me tell you that. You got to take care of the ball, Jameis. You got to take care of the ball. Seahawks, they're, they're an interesting bunch. Let me tell you that. They're, always, they're just always there, you know, getting 10-win season and stuff like that. that, 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 that they, they, they're they just still there. They're just still there getting up victories. You know, it may not be the prettiest victories, but the Seahawks are doing God's work, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, then we got the Browns taking on Broncos. I don't know why this game is being propped up as a big-time game. I hope nobody goes there. Um Hope nobody important goes there because I mean the Broncos are trash and so are the Browns, you know. Uh, but the but the Packers and and the, and the Chargers should be interesting though. That's going to be a very interesting game, you know. Um, Philip Rivers, Melvin Gordon, you know, man, taking on Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Jones, man, that's going to be interesting, interesting, interesting stuff right there. And then of course, you know, the big time Sunday night game, baby. It's going to be wild. It's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. The New England Patriots, Tom Brady, Edelman. You know, you know, you know the stars of the, of the Patriots. They're going to be taking on Lamar Jackson and those Baltimore Ravens, baby. It's going to be one hell of an interesting game. Let me tell you that. Oh, my goodness. You know, the Ravens have a pretty good defense. The Patriots have a strong defense. Uh, I know people still complain that Brady is like a system quarterback, but he's efficient. He does what he needs to do on the field. And when he does what he needs to do, hey, you can't fault him for continuing to win. <laughs> Neither can you fault Belichick. You know, they just keep winning. And that's, that's the bottom line. And then finally here, we got the – Cowboys taking on the New York Giants and the Meadowlands, you know, on Monday night. Of course, the annual Monday night game with the Cowboys is always, it's always something interesting, let me tell you that, at the very least. Um, uh, I can't, I really don't want to get up on a Monday night and just be like, hey, Cowboys game, turn it on. But it's the Cowboys. Gotta, I gotta do it. You know, it's Monday Night Football. It's gonna be something, and we're just gonna have to, you know, we're we're 
we're feeling we're still feeling pretty good coming off the bye week and everything like that, you know. Um, but the Giants, you know, they have a lot to fight for. This could be another one of those NFC East slugfest, or you know, it could be another blowout in favor of the Cowboys. You never know. But yeah, other than the four teams that are on bye, thank God, thank God, the Cincinnati Bengals and the Atlanta Falcons are on a bye. Sad that the Saints and Rams are on a bye, but this is going to be an interesting week. Let me tell you that not not the prettiest slate of games, but there's going to be some interesting gems in there. You know, especially you know during the early slate. You know, the late slate really only has like one game, really, maybe two uh, games. But then you get to that Sunday night game, and then of course. Yeah, of course, if you're a Cowboys fan, or if you're Steve A. Smith, or you're Skip Bayless, or if you're Shannon Sharp, or somebody like that, you're going to want to tune in that Monday night game. You're going to be like me, wanting to cry because it's on a Monday night, because I hate Monday night games now. Um, so yeah, week nine in a nutshell, that's going to do it. You know, stick around. we got more videos coming on the pipeline. I'm pretty sure I'm going to talk about the XFL schedule. Probably not. Maybe some more indoor football stuff because there's been some stuff that's been going down in the indoor circles that needs to be discussed really, really quick. So that's going to do it. Peace. Peace, everybody.